Bet. So today, Little Bo and I are going to show you guys my top five favorite lipsticks for spring and summer. So if you guys want to see what those might be, uh, just keep watching. What are you doing? Is that Mama's hair? I don't think you like hairspray. What are you doing? Say hi, everybody. Okay, you have hairspray in your mouth. I could smell it. Does Mama's nail polish taste good? <laughs> so these are my top five lipsticks for spring and summer. I'm gonna show you guys all of the lipsticks on me. So I don't have like any lip liner or lip gloss on. So this isn't typically how I would wear them because you all know me, I always have to do my lip liner and my lip gloss with my lipstick. But I'm just going to show you guys the lipstick. So starting off with the Maybelline Make Me Pink. And it's the one I have on right now. And it looks like this when I swatch it. It's just a really beautiful all around pink. Such a safe color. Uh, goes with so much. And that's what's so important is to have a good pink. So this is just like a really, really nice pink. So I love that one. On the brighter side, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Fuchsia Fever. And this is a really, really fun one too. And it looks like this. Really bright pink, as you guys can tell. Um, I obviously wear a lip gloss over it to kind of tone it down. But it's just such a fun color. I really do love it. It's a go-to. And I never thought I was ever going to love a really hot pink color like that. But I really have fallen in love with it. So I'm really excited. Another really good light pink. Um, Kat Von D's Celebutard is awesome. Please excuse the motorcycle in the background again because Eric is out in the garage working. And um, I really do love this Kat Von D lipstick because it's matte. You do want to use some chapstick underneath it, but it's perfect because it goes with any nude or pink uh, lip liner and any lip gloss just really brings it out even more. Um, it's just a really versatile pink and it's just really, really fun. So I love it. It's just a little drying, but so worth it. And that motorcycle is so gosh darn loud. I am sorry. This one by the L'Oreal Privé Collection in Julianne's Nude. Oh my goodness. I can't get enough of this one. It really has become an all-time favorite. This is what it looks like when I swatch it. It's just such a gorgeous, like, peachy pinky nude. This is by far the most amazing lipstick that I've come across for a really natural makeup look. Even on days where I'm just wearing tinted moisturizer, you know, I do my eyebrows and put some mascara on. This just gives your lips that perfect pinky color. And if I can only get my hands on this, I'm gonna stock up, literally, I'm gonna buy like a whole store. I need 100 of these in my life. And it's just that amazing. If you don't have it, I do really recommend that one. And last but not least, I had to throw in a nude. And during, okay, I'm a little bit strange because during the spring and summer, you know, I like to tan, I get really, really dark, and sometimes I feel like certain nudes really wash me out. So it's just one of those things where I could put it on, and if it's just not the right shade, I literally look like I'm dead. It's really, really bad. And I, I've noticed it a lot recently because I've been experimenting with so many other colors, and yeah, you don't want that look. You do not want that look. Max Viva Glam 2 has always been my favorite nude. I mean, I love Myth. I really do. But sometimes that makes me look really washed out. And um, yeah, when it comes to a nude, I like to do 
something a little bit more on the darker nude side. So the Viva Glam 2 is just perfect. So yeah, those are my picks for my top spring and summer colors. I hope you guys can see. I really have been obsessed with these lately. So yeah, if you've been obsessed with the color, please let me know what that might be. I really, I want to try it out. I want to get your guys' opinions. So don't forget to leave that down below and let me know what else you guys would love to see. I'm going to probably be doing my top, mm, it's probably going to be a top 10 um, nail polishes for spring and summer. So if you guys want to see anything else um, as of like, you know, favorites for spring and summer, let me know. So I will talk to you guys really soon. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well as all the product info. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.